Well, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry, because I seem to be doing one of those videos every day. And I had to do this one sitting down. But we've got to talk about this New England Journal. This is the Pfizer study of the mRNA vaccine being published ahead of sort of all of the uh, stuff that they're doing with the FDA. So the summary is, uh, this is an mRNA vaccine. It's given at time zero. It's given at time three weeks. Uh, the efficacy has already been reported 95% for symptomatic disease. And this was in people over the age of 16. They also excluded pregnant patients. And they're going to do a separate analysis for patients who are HIV positive. So overall, the efficacy was very good. Side effect profile, very good. Sore arm, yes. Significant number of patients with fatigue and sometimes fairly significant fatigue within the next day. So if you're getting this vaccine, you might want to schedule your shift off um, the next day. And when I say safety, lots and lots of people got this. It's at two months. That's the uh, amount of follow-up we have right now. Seems to be very safe. There were two deaths in the placebo group, two deaths in the um, vaccine group. Don't appear to be associated with the vaccine at all, so that's good news. Severe disease was significantly, significantly less in the vaccine group. Now, some people have asked the question, well, what if I get the vaccine, then I do get infected? Um, will I get a hyperimmune response? We don't know because the number of people that had symptomatic disease is so small. They also excluded, this is important, they excluded patients who'd actually had a history of SARS-CoV-19 or had serological evidence of it, although they didn't do uh, testing in everybody. So if you've had the infection, or if you're really concerned that you might have had the infection, you might want to get your serology done and then have a discussion with your ID people about whether you should get the vaccine. Now, in terms of who this vaccine was given to, we know there are high-risk groups, black, Hispanic, obese patients. So this was about 82% white patients, about 9% black patients, about 28% Hispanic patients, about 5% Asian, and the average person in this study was obese, had a BMI of 35, and they say that it looks like it had equal efficacy through all of those age groups, or through all of those groups, and also equal efficacy in the patients over the age of 55 and under the age of 55. But remember, they did not give this to kids. That's a study that is ongoing. They did not give this to pregnant patients. So what's my summary? This is uh, not a lot of extra information, but useful. Oh, I should also say, that they note that this can actually stay in the fridge after you've prepared it for five days. So you need this ultra cold storage as you get it to where you need it, but then you can uh, prep it and put it in a fridge for up to five days, which is actually good news. I was thinking it was less than 24 hours, but if you put it in a refrigerator, it says in the paper that you can do this uh, for up to five days. So a lot of people ask me, oh, one other thing I should say, after the first dose, Within 12 days after the first dose, it had about a 50% efficacy for reducing symptomatic COVID-19 infections. So by two weeks, you are already getting a significant amount of protection, and then you get to the second dose, and then seven days after that, 95% efficacious. So you get some effect two weeks after the first dose, and then you have your second dose, and seven days after that, you have got like whoop, whoop, fantastic um, um, protection, and particularly against uh, severe disease. So we're going to hear a lot more about this. And people ask me the very specific question, and I'm sure they're asking you as well. Would you get this vaccine? And initially, I was a little bit hesitant. I hadn't seen the data. None of us had really seen the data. Now we've seen data on lots and lots of patients. And we've seen it out to two months, so we don't know the long-term safety. But we also have a lot of data on getting infected with the virus itself. And getting infected with the virus is bad. Um, there's a small number of us that are going to get super sick and a small number that are going to die. There's a lot of patients that have long COVID, thrombotic complications and stuff. So from what we know of this vaccine, its safety compared to the safety of getting infected with this virus, hands down, the vaccine is way safer, at least out to two months. And so absolutely, at the point where it gets offered the mRNA vaccine, you can drop it in this deltoid just as fast as you can. Because I don't want this uh, virus. Everything we learn about this virus is bad. Everything we learn about this vaccine, not so bad. So go read the paper, New England Journal. Get onto it. Read it yourself. It's really important. Herbert out.